In Persona 5 Tactica, mastering the techniques at your disposal might just be the key to assuring your victory as you fight back against the oppressive forces of Legionnaires. The battlefield in Persona 5 Tactica allows your team to move and perform an action of your choice each turn. Be sure to place your squad strategically, factoring in the best position to line up a shot to deal the most damage, as well as taking cover to protect yourself from enemy attacks. Always carefully consider your options and choose your moves wisely to keep an advantage over your enemies. One key technique that can turn the tide of a battle is lashing out a triple threat. This special move occurs when all three members of your squad are surrounding the enemies being targeted to create an all-out attack that deals massive damage. There are five different difficulty levels to choose from in Persona 5 Tactica, and you can change them during the game at any time. Your difficulty level affects the amount of times you can use Baton Pass, among other things. If one of your comrades is caught off guard and KO'd, you'll be able to use Baton Pass to bring in one of your standby units. Easier difficulties will allow for multiple uses of Baton Pass, while harder modes only allow for just one. Not all of your tactics will be available from the jump, but you'll unlock them as you progress. Be sure to visit the Velvet Room to keep your personas as effective as possible in combat. Also, there are a variety of paths to choose from in each character's skill tree. Discover which path synergize best with your squad as you fight through the ranks of Legionnaires. The Phantom Thieves' battle against Legionnaires has only just begun, so be sure to use every character's unique abilities along with each advantage you can on the battlefield. Until next time, keep fighting. Ignite your heart when Persona 5 Tactica releases on November 17th, 2023. Pre-orders are available now. Perhaps you'd prefer I hadn't cut in? Senpai, you're not hurt, are you? Yeah. Huh?